Hey guys, it's Tech Racer, and today I'm to unbox again a different uh, thing. Well, I was like going through Amazon and I was in a search of a tripod and I found out this one. Well, uh, this is like a very cheap or you can say very low price tripod that you can get. Now, I was just uh, like searching for the tripod and I just found it out. So, I just thought let's give it a try and see what actually the product is for this particular price. Now, the link for this particular product will be in the description so you can go and purchase it from there if you want. Now this 3110 is like a generic product and this particular tripod is sold uh, under various different brand names. So irrespective of the brand names, you will get the same product uh, if uh, 3110 is written inside the Amazon or any other listings over there. So let's quickly take a look at the box. So the packaging is like simply average. So do not have any special packaging. We have few features over here. So 102mm as maximum height and few other features that it offers and uh, all the pan uh, panning uh, shots you can take out uh, with this particular tripod so let's really open this and take a look at the tripod itself so frankly speaking i do not have a lot of expectations with this product considering the price it comes for so yeah inside the packaging first of all we get the mobile holder and this is the same that uh, like it's of okay quality or average quality we can say i used to have this earlier and it can easily break like after a certain amount of usage so okay we get it so that's nice thing now here is our tripod and we do not get any pouch uh, to like carry it so this is what we get so these are the two things that comes inside the uh, packaging that's it now talking about the tripod initial impressions the quality is like totally average um, the quality of aluminium and plastic is totally average you do get uh, like a level meter over here and we do get um, like this uh, mechanism for panning shots like horizontal and vertical panning shots so that's pretty nice thing uh, i am not really sure about the height although here it is uh, mentioned like it's 1020 mm like about i i think three to three and a half feet most probably and uh, overall the plastic quality is simply average uh, let me simply loosen it a bit So yeah, uh, well you can take uh, like pan shots with it. Uh, I'm really not sure if it could handle DSLR, although Amazon listing uh, is saying that you can hang a DSLR or mount a DSLR onto it. But uh, I simply won't recommend to mount a DSLR like a thing which weighs over one kg. I won't think uh, it would be a good option to like mount DSLR onto it. Although you, use, you can use it as a, like a tripod for mobile photography or even videography. But for the price it's like okay okay thing. Uh, if you want you can purchase it. Now let's quickly like open this thing completely up and see what is the actual height and if it wobbles or not. And I'll share my final thoughts over there. So guys welcome back. Uh, so this is the tripod as you can see I have opened all the three legs. Uh, so this is the initial height with all the three legs open. My height is of 5 feet 6 inches and without this top portion lifted it comes like uh, near my waist and if I further open this up uh, it can like go up till here. So as you can see up till here. So we can see like 3.5 feet of maximum height you can gain with this particular thing. And I've also attached the mobile phone holder as you can see. So it comes within the box. So that's pretty nice thing. And if you talk about the wobbliness. So if I like even put a small pressure over here. It simply wobbles entirely. So like if you're thinking of mounting a DSLR onto it. So that's not going to happen. Or I simply would recommend you to mount a DSLR onto it. Because like hanging uh, like a such expensive gadget onto it uh, is like a risky one. So, uh, because if it gets a bit jerk, it can simply collapse entirely with the DSLR. So if you want to buy a tripod for a DSLR, then make sure you put a good amount of money and buy a good one, uh, which has like a counterweight option over here to simply balance the entire weight of the DSLR. So that's going to be a really good thing for the DSLR one. But if you want to like uh, make videos or photography uh, with uh, uh, the mobile phone, this is definitely a very good choice. So if you are going to make uh, initial videos like uh, static videos uh, in which only a single position is there, it's completely fine. But in the longer run, you might have few issues with it, just like on the point of joints, 
because the quality of the material is not that great although it can suffice the need of mobile photography and videography so if you are a beginner and don't want to invest a lot of money you can certainly take a look at it but i would simply recommend you to like add uh, 200 to 300 more and get a good tripod like amazon basics or various other tripods out there so those tripod will have much value for money out there so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching